Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how you can work with the text boxes as well as images which is a core component of the, the Google Data Studio as well as to any data visualization tool because many times you have to write your own custom text or you need to add headers and for images suppose you need to add logos or some other relevant image based on the statement or the visualization that you want to support on so how we can create the data the text boxes and images i will show you over here and from this video we will use one single data source which is a sales data source for a superstore so that we can continue build on that visualization so first of all what i'll do is add the data and in the google sheets I have the sample superstore if I select that. Here in this sheet, I want to connect the order sheet where the first row has the headers and I want to include the hidden and filter cell. So if I click add, it will start adding the data within the Google Data Studio. Since the data is slightly large, it has some 9000 or 10,000 odd rows. So it will take some time to get all of that data and add it into the data studio so now it has added and created a default table for us which we can select and press delete to delete that all right so the very first thing we want to do is create a text box and the text box is present over here as you can see if i hovering my mouse over this icon it is showing me the text so if i click over here wherever i want i can start creating a text box and it is showing me that I am at the boundary. So I will start creating a text box, maybe up until here to give a header that it is a sales performance dashboard. All right. So once you have this dashboard, after that, you can make the changes in the, in the text. For example, uh, you want to select this and uh, over here you have the text properties which you can change it let's say for example we want uh, slightly large so 48 sales performance dashboard and uh, let's say for example we want whatever color we want we can get it so maybe over here dark blue so sales performance dashboard is something which is here again if we are out and we want to do some editing we can again select this and make the changes let's say for example from blue tomorrow the requirement comes that we want to change it to let's say this red color we can change it to the red as per our need for the text box apart from this as you can see there are a lot of options to change the font here by default the roboto is selected but there are various different fonts which you can select as per the needs and then formatting alignment as well as if you want to link say for example on this dashboard you want to link some other report which is an another uh, report related to the sales dashboard you can link it or maybe the website link that you want so you can make all of those settings with the help of this text properties down there you have uh, some more formatting the basic formatting like uh, background and border and uh, changing the paddings based on where the text is displayed inside it so as per the needs of the organization or your personal needs you can change the properties of the text so once the text is added let's say you want to add the icon or this icon of the company so to reflect uh, a better dashboard look and feel so to do that you can come over here on the image and you can say you can either upload from computer or you can get it by url so let's select something from the computer and maybe one of the icon which i have is related to this i'm sure you must be familiar from, for this icon this is a snapchat icon uh, which is just a dummy example which i'm showing you but you can get whatever icon you want and adjust it as per your needs and as you can see its properties is also very basic for example you can link uh, link the image you are link a url with this image for example you want to show your company website when somebody is clicking over here that's the generally the default choice so you can click over there also if it is a department specific dashboard and you have a department specific website or sharepoint or any space 
which is available through the URL, you can put it over here. Um, couple of formatting options that you can do is again very basic related to the background and border and for some good display you can have the border shadow if sort of a shadow that you need. So based on what uh, changes you want to do you can make it but that's very basic how you can add the text change the styles or formatting of the text based on need as well as add the image for the purpose of a good visualization which is specific to your company needs.